I'm going to do the product review for you out there of a amazing special item if you're on the market or in the market for a new mobile phone but not just any regular mobile phone but I'm talking about a rugged waterproof drop proof industrial strength phone I've been approached by a company called Blackview who have sent me the BV8900 Pro to take a look at and do a bit of a review and get up close and see what we think of the phone. So this is the packaging that it comes in, which is a beautiful, well-designed box, which is always nice. And I think what we'll do, we'll get the lid off, we'll dive straight in, have a look what's in the box, and then I'm gonna give you some more detail on the phone as we take a better look. Okay, so, Let's just get this lid off. Okay, so there's the lid out inside the box. This is what we've got. Let's, let's take a look, shall we? So we've got a Type C a USB cable for charging our data transfer. We've got a Black View charge cable. Now. This isn't a UK plug, so if you do need to use this, you will need a, um, an adapter, but that's easily available, quite straightforward, so that's um, that already, but it is a USB um, charge, so any, any USB will be fine for that. So, charger, then we've got, we've got the phone, which we'll come and take a better look at in a moment. We have got some instructions. We have got the manual with um, basic instructions. So this is an Android, obviously an Android device, and then we've got a location tag that it comes with it as well. So. Let's, um, let's put the box over there. So this phone, let's have a quick um, a, a quick look at it here. And what we'll do is I'm going to grab the um, camera possibly and we'll go in a little bit closer. So it's, it's the, the biggest thing on this, is the, 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 the moment you get hold of it is, is the, you, you can feel the ruggedness. You can feel that this is not, uh, I can't explain the... Uh, the weight on it it's 398 grams so that'll give you some idea of the actual weight and then it's in a wrapper so I'll just take this out of the wrapper and then it comes with a little bit of a screen on it so let's just peel peel that off oh so, well, we've actually got this um, <laughs> sort of started. Okay, so the big let me let me give you some some information on this one for those that need the um, some spec on it. It's six and a half inch display on it, and it's got a two point four K resolution. The um, UWB search is within. So that's what these these are these tags. Um, are within apparently within 50 centimeters so you can attach this tag to you could have it on a dog collar you could have it on russia do you remember when russia escaped my dog um, you can put it on to some luggage um, or any other uh, any other item if you want to track it and locate it and apparently within 50 centimeters <coughs> which is amazing and this is running on android 13 wow um, and it's got a 10,000 uh, milliamp battery, which is a super fast charge on it. And again, with the spec on there, it's got 16 gigs of RAM, random access memory, if you don't know what a RAM is. And then the ROM, the read-only memory, um, so that's the internal memory, if, you, if you're not in, into it. It's got 256 gigabytes of, uh, of ROM, but you can put a um, put one here. Um, a micro USB card in and expand that up to a terabyte 
one, one terabyte. It's just unbelievable. It's got the Gorilla Glass on the front. Again, this is asking me for setting up in a moment, which we'll, we'll look at this a bit, bit closer in a moment. It's got the Gorilla Glass um, scratch resistant screen on it. It is waterproof, drop proof, dust proof. Just amazing. And again, you don't know the, the camera is going to pick up the detail on the ruggedness of this is all these on the corners here how strong this this is a and a, if you if you work in a an outdoor environment where it's possible you're going to drop the phone or you're going to get dings and dangs and knocks these are becoming more and more popular um again as i say you you can attach that tag um to items for location the um, front cameras, oh, yeah. every, time, every time I do a product review, my phone rings, I've got no idea why. So the front cameras, so these, these are the cameras you can see um, on here. I don't know whether this is all picking it up. So you've got the rear cameras and the front cameras and things like that. So we will come closer to this in a moment. Um, but it's a 16, uh, 16 megapixel front camera, which gives a super wide, ultra wide angled uh, view on this of 117 degrees and then the rear camera um, on this is uh, an 8, eight megapixel camera again with an ultra wide view on it of 117 degrees the camera's got a 64 megabyte um, sensor and it's got a really adaptable ISO or back in the old day ASA settings for low light and things like that so it's a it's an ultra nice camera on here it's got optical image stabilization which is anti-shake and anti um anti-blur and it's got loads of different camera modes again we are going to get into the camera shortly um you can take panoramic pictures here and stitch them together and it's got an amazing super night mode as well we will be getting some photographs um inserted into this review that have been taken on this camera um, it's also you can use this as a Google Lens camera so if you're not a Google Lens camera it is let's say it's running Android 13 uh, it's got a black and white mono mode on it um, again just all on here and it's got a 4k um, recording on it and it's got things like beauty mode and things like that the standby time on the phone is up to 45 or just over apparently 45 um, days and it's also got an OTG reverse charge on this so if you've got a friend who you're with and their phone is running out of charge you can um, charge off this and use it as a mini power bank with the OTG connection on it and it's also got uh, an amazing um, temperature uh, endurance from super freezing freezing cold temperatures to super high temperatures as I say this is a proper proper mean work phone the sort of thing a campsite warden needs super fast charging super 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 quick to charge um, and it's got the IP68 um, IP69K um, waterproofing standards on this and again it's got the amazing tough design so again there are links and more details down below for this black view BV8900 approach. We will, uh, again, I am going to open this up, show you the SIM drawer, um, which is just on this side here, um, which is a dual SIM um, drawer, but you can also use it as a memory expansion slot for putting a, 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 an SD card in there as well. It's got um, an enhanced speaker on, on inside it as well. And you've got your 3i comfort modes as well. So there's a number of different settings on this one here to um, adjust the screen for your um, eyesight. And to unlock the phone as well as a pin, um, you can use face recognition. And there is also a fingerprint sensor um, on here as well. So um, again, super way to unlock your phone and um, security that's on it. It's also got a glove mode on it as well. So if you're um, working outside and you've got gloves on or your hands are a bit damp and things like that, you can go into the glove mode on it. It's got an NFC um, built into it as well. So if you want to go onto things like Google Pay 
um, and things like that with the NFC reader. That's also built into it as well as the full GPS and the, um, the Wi-Fi. So um, I think what we'll do, we'll bring the camera over here. We'll get the camera looking down now onto the phone. We'll power it up um, and also have it um, a, a closer look to where I am now. So let's have a look at the Blackview BV8900 Pro a little bit closer at the actual case and what you're getting on the phone. So as you can see here you've got a on off button here for powering the phone, you've got your volume button here, you can see the rugged construction on the base of the phone here is the um, USB charging point with a dust cover on it speakers are on the phone you've got uh, another selector here and this is where your dual SIM card slot is so looking on the rear of the phone So you can see the front camera is here and then looking over onto the main phone. So really, really rugged construction on this. So you, as I said, um, put it in this way here, you've got the right, in the right way around, haven't you? So what you've also got is this little device here and we're going to use this to open the SIM card, SIM slot. card slot. Take the little device that comes here, it clicks in and then out comes the holder. So the space here for two SIM cards, or you can put a SIM card in, uh, or, and then a micro USB card, uh, a TF card, sorry, for um, memory expansion if you wanted to. And then this is the ultra wideband tag that comes with the phone. So you can um, locate items that this is attached to. There's a pulley here, there's a, a battery here, so make sure that you disconnect this if um, when you're ready to use it. Okay, I think what we'll do now, I think we'll dive in and I think we'll power the phone up and show you some of the initial messages as we get ready to actually use the phone. Okay, <clears throat> so this is with the phone turned on for the first time. Let's say we are running Android 11. We will need to do a number of things here. So the first step we're going to do is connect the phone to Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's us connected to the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> At the moment I've not put a SIM card in here because um, I'm just initially setting it all up and we can do this initially um, on the on the phone just to actually initially get get things started so we're just going through a Google a, a menu which you'll have probably seen before if you've if you're an Android user here you can set a pin number which I'm not going to record so that was a pin number set and now what we need to do we can now set up a fingerprint um, so we can actually unlock the phone with a fingerprint. So again, I'm not going to show you doing this. If you've had a phone before with a fingerprint uh, detector, you'll know that basically you need to put whichever thing you're going to use and um, register your fingerprint. And then here we've now got the message that the fingerprint is added. And now we can unlock with our face. So I'm going to do this um, again 
off camera um, so I'm not going to show you me recording okay it. that's the fingerprint set up so pin number set up fingerprint set up and face detection set up now there's a number of things to agree this shows you um, some instructions on here on the system navigation and we've now got the basic phone rigged and set up where you've got obviously you've got if you if you're an android user you'll be you'll be quite familiar with all of this and you can swipe things like this and sign into google so these are the camera um functions so what what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to sign into my google account and get the phone sort of registered and then what we'll do is we'll then come in and have a look at some more of these features so we've gone through the initial setup and now it says to finish the bb8900 pro setup just a few more steps and we're ready to go um so i would say i've not got a sim card in here at the moment but i am connected to the wi-fi so i'm just going to skip that for a minute and then this will now basically get the phone ready <coughs> and we can start copying data from one phone to another phone for the migration so here you've got um, the phones are now communicating with each other <clears throat> so this is my existing phone here on the right hand side of your screen and then you've got the data transfer coming over here now to the Blackview BV8900 Pro this is going to take several minutes so all that's doing I'm going to make myself a nice cup of coffee okay it took approximately 30 minutes to migrate the apps from my old phone to this phone you then obviously customize things and you may need to set some things up depending on how things are set so you can see the screens and all the apps and you can set um, different drawers so just as an example I've got a drawer here called social where I just put in some of my social tabs I've got the uh, more of the traditional buttons on the screen at the bottom you can have gestures and as I say there are shortcut buttons on the side here if you wanted it for the um, UWB for the, for the tag you may need to do a search for the built-in app which is um, on here so I've just got the warden tag I've, sorry I've called this tag the warden tag um, and you can do a search for and things like that. If I press the play audio, obviously you get the audio on that. So that was pretty quick and simple to do. I think what we need to do now, again, we, I need to tidy up some of the, some of the um, icons on the screen, but really fast and responsive. Um, I think what we need to do next is take some photographs and some video and show you what the quality is like. So what I thought I'd do is just actually just record a very quick video on the um, on the Blackview phone to see what the quality is like and see how they're all coming out. So I'm just taking a walk in a local green area at the moment and um, you can see for yourselves what the quality is like. So sometime later and we've got the Blackview BV8900 Pro all fully loaded up with my apps um, you can flick over the screens I 
and it has been really Oof. good. Let's try to get some of these screens on here. That is uh, robust and rugged. That's that's designed for heavy duty. You can drop this. It's waterproof, dustproof, virtually everything proof. A remarkable bit of kit. You've seen some of the photographs that I've done in the daylight and a couple of quick video clips that I've done. So the, the resolution and everything is amazing. The setup is fantastic. The um, All the apps on the phone, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Really quick and simple to set up. As I say, there is links down there in the description below. And I tell you what, when you see the price of this, compared to some of the um, other phones out there, you are going to be pretty shocked um, for what money can buy. Again, it's just a beautiful bit of kit. It looks smart, it's well constructed. As I say, you've got your shortcut bus in here, you've got one quick press, two presses and a long press for regular apps and the whole construction um, is absolutely amazing. So as I say, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have done, be brilliant to read any of your uh, comments in the description down there below. And it's been absolutely a joy to work with Blackview on this product and I'm looking forward to working with them in going into the future. Um, yeah, well pleased with this one.